these guys again. It's game 47 of 48. Bulldozer Power are clinging on to a playoff hope. It's a very skinny hope, but uh, we'll, we'll see how we get on. It's Grunt Auto Group again. There's Bulldozer Power. And uh, Viv Crumble's going to be pitching for us today, which, well, it's... It's not optimum, but she's uh, she's a solid enough pitcher, so we, we, we'll we see how we go. Uh, we came away with a win last time. We need another one. Yeah, and uh, that, that's all there is to it. Uh, it's Cookie Peaches Wallace who's going to be starting the uh, starting the day. We've got some changes in the lineup, but you'll see those as we uh, as we move through the uh, the day's proceedings. Nice pitch. Uh, right, something something slidey to, uh, to to finish the. Uh, the first pitch, the first batter. Capscom has it. And out number one. Good fielding. Ah, solid work all round there. Here's Alfredo Singularity. The shortstop. Yeah, that's his name. That's what he does. And uh, Viv into the run up there. Capsicum couldn't get to it this time. Unfortunate. And that will be a hit. Oh well. Uh, yeah, you can't always you can't always get everything. Here's Tommy Money, who's uh, a delightful player and very good to his mother. Uh, let's start starting with something slidey. There you go. And that one didn't quite uh, didn't quite land. Expect the steal anytime anytime. Cindy dives underneath it. Probably could have just stood there and caught that one. Yeah. Is that on me? I think it rather is. Here's Kojak Mister on. Seven home runs for her this season. And uh, there is some wagering afoot as to whether she puts a home run against us today. But uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, she's, uh, she's not quite as dominant as she was when she played for BDP. But I think that's as much down to how we played her. They just stole second and third. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, I know. Um, all right, what's the uh, what's the count? Two strikes. All right, let's see if we can't get her at the plate. Lovely. All right, out number two. Uh, that will give us Danny Diet as their last best hope for a run in this inning, and uh, and so far Viv has been okay. Uh, a couple of misfires on the fielding have led to the uh, led to the runners that we've got so far. Viv, stick some stick some in the strike zone, would you? Oh come on! All right, well that's three balls in a row. So uh, so let's let's now just put them in the strike zone. We'll get what we get. Okay. Try not to give up a home run if at all possible. Nice pitch, and uh, we're going to chance the change up. Didn't work. No, and that's possibly trouble. Uh, as uh, as the first run is trotted home. Uh, Linda Van Spackle is next up. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, it's just come on, Viv, come on, Viv. I believe in you. Let's let's try and hold on to one run if we can. Uh, that would be uh, that would be helpful, and uh, a sinky curve to finish him off. Any time? Uh, no, nope. it was popped up, so so that's good. Nancy Sue three sixty has come in to retrieve it, and that's out number three. Okay, well that could have been worse. Three hits given up, but only one run. All right, your starting uh, batter for Bulldozer Power is, as ever, Cindy Vapid. Hasn't had a big game in a while, but uh, but Cindy is solid. And it's Madam Pompadour who's doing the pitching for us today uh, for Grunt Auto Group, at least for the time being. Cindy there, swinging at nothing special and won't make it to first. Here's Ulysses' failure, bumped up the batting order for today. His mood isn't quite there. Uh, but uh, I needed a, a semi-reliable batter at second. And, uh, well, that's that's what I've ended up with. Yep, semi-reliable. Yep, keep soaking. Soak him up a bit. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Nice, is it, though? Is it? No, it's not. Didn't quite put enough on that one, and he's gone as well. Caught out at centre field, and uh, Zoltan's up next. Speaking of players who've had quiet games lately, Zoltan is another one. Uh, but uh, any time, could happen any time that Zoltan puts one uh, puts one deep, deep into something. Well, he's put that one nowhere. That wasn't deep into anything. 
And that one's going to be caught in centre field as well. And BDP are retired without so much as a hit. At the end of one, it's 1-0 one to the Grunt Auto Group. And Vertex Cabal, a centre fielder, is next up to bat. Uh, interesting. Interesting. He's, uh, his stats are a smith. He's very fast. So if he does get on base, we should anticipate him trying to, uh, trying to steal things that don't belong to him. Like second, for example. Yeah. If he does get on base, that is. Yeah. Unless, of course, he hits something that actually goes that far in the first place. Which is also plausible. Um, but uh, let's see what we happen to uh, stumble upon. Viv. Nice one. Caught him out with the change up again. Margaret Ann Sprinkles, the catcher. Next up. And, uh, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. See, mostly consistent pitching. It, uh, it gives you the fear, you see. It doesn't, doesn't quite give you uh, the edge of confidence that you want to go, well, we've got these guys. You know, you put Dez on the, uh, on the mound and you kind of go, Dez will, Dez will see us through. I mean, Dez has seen his way through his fair share of disasters, but uh, at the same time, he usually sees us through. That was another strikeout, incidentally. And uh, the pitcher is uh, is last up to bat here. Assuming that she doesn't get a hit, of course, which is certainly plausible. Certainly plausible. There's strike two. And uh, Viv. Her targeting's not all that. Uh, but that will be out number three. And that's three up, three down there for Grunt. Bordeaux's of power. Looking to try and get some offence started now as Steve Morrie uh, picks up his bat, walks to the plate and grins at the pitcher. Aye, right, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Uh, we'll, we'll take a couple just to see what her, uh, what her accuracy is like. And the answer is poor. Yep. Okay. And... Steve there, nutmegs the pitcher, and that will get him on base, which is a mood boost for the entire team. That's uh, an, a mood boost, not an amuse bush. They're two separate things. Here's Jemima Hertz. Uh, she's picked up of late, but, uh, but she does... I mean, it, it could just be me, but it feels like she's fragile. Feels like she's, uh, she's maybe just not, just not got confidence that, that goes the distance, you know? Anyway, she's uh, she slung that one out nowhere, and that will be a strike. And another bouncer between the pitcher's legs will get us another another runner on base. What first and second now occupied with no outs. Uh, here's Nancy Sue 360. She's come in for a, a demoralised whatever her name is, Lynn Mephisto. That's right. Yes, because uh, Lynn's mood was off, and uh, and also Nancy Sue is actually a very good fielder. And uh, I've been I've been somewhat frustrated by my performance over in left field for a while. Oh, flaming it! Uh, I was about to go on to say she's a very good fielder, but her batting isn't all that. And I think we just proved that out. Capscom Disco next up. Let's not let's not throw this opportunity unless we have to. Oh dear, that's that's all kinds of bad news. Double play, and uh, that's that's not what we wanted. No. Oh, okay, right. Well, at the end of two, it's one nothing still. Grunt in the driving seat. Cookie Peaches Wallace back round for her second at bat, and uh, just just keep pitching, Viv. You're doing a fine job so far. They've got some hits, but people do that. That's the game. Cindy will field that one, and that's out number one. Singularity, Alfredo. He's on fire. His ability to get a hit is actually remarkable uh, with his on-fire base stats. He is beyond uh, 100%. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo! And Bernie Mistakes fields that one. Gets it over to first, and that's out number two. Good work. Uh, Tommy Money uh, is your next candidate for player to spoil the afternoon. Okay. He's, uh, he's a good kid. Good kid, Tommy. Man. Good kid. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I'm, I'm throwing a lot of fastballs down there. No, that's fine. Yeah, your junk pitches aren't all that, you see. I mean, it's, uh, I mean you should use them, obviously. But, uh, Capscom. Good. Uh, but uh, don't, don't lean on them as much as you do. I and mean, we've got other pitches where I lean on junk pitches quite heavily. Uh, Bernie Mistakes is next up to bat. A base hit from her would be lovely. 
but we'll just have to see what she can come up with. Uh, I'm fairly certain, uh, given the choice, I think I'll probably be re-signing her for next season. Uh, but I will have to make some changes. Uh, it's going to be a close one, but Bernie makes it to first after a fielding error from the third baseman. Here's Viv Crumble. All right, Viv. She's batting 0.62 or 0.062 for the season. Yeah, it's all right. Bernie's not a stealer. That's that's not her. That's not her jam at all. Just don't don't double play it. That's it. Yeah, Viv. It's a big lofted swipe out to uh, well the outfield. Let's call it the outfield, and she's caught. Uh, one out now. Cindy Vapid up to bat. And uh, she's uh, she's she's waiting for her moment. Nope, still not stealing. It's not happening. No, no. I I don't feel any compulsion to do so. I'm quite happy just to uh, just to ride out a couple of pitches here, and uh, and then when Cindy feels the moment, yeah, that looks troubling. No, it's okay. Only one out. Cindy makes it to base, but we uh, we lost the runner. And that will give us Ulysses' failure as our last best hope for anything here. Uh, unless, of course, he does something. There's the pitch out, because they're expecting Cindy to steal. She is our uh, our top-rated uh, stealing artiste. Now, she's going. Cindy is in. Face. All right, three balls, no strikes. And uh, failure gets a walk, rendering the steal largely redundant. But it looks good on the stat line. Here's Zoltan. And Zoltan's mood is flagging. Oh, crikey. Yeah, we've never seen that before. Well, you talked about his patchy performance of late. And uh, and this, I think, is uh, is testimony to that patchiness. Uh, is that his, uh, his confidence has slipped out of what could be described as optimum. Or better. Yeah. Oh, terrible hit from Zoltan. Terrible. Terrible. I was, I was on the fence about leaving it. And I swung a bit late. And it didn't work out. At the end of three... BDP still trail one nothing, and it's Kojak Mistron who struck out first time around. Who's next up to bat? Uh, batting two eight seven this season, uh, but uh, she was an absolute absolute powerhouse for us. Uh, so uh, so we've got to be wary of maybe some some kind of powerhouse performance is uh, is lurking there. Uh, within the unassuming stance of struck out again Kojak Misteron. <laughs> oh well, there she's gone. There is Danny Diet. Uh, got both the single and he batted in the uh, the only run of the game so far with his first uh, first at bat. Uh, chucking the same again if he anticipated it last time around. Maybe he won't anticipate it this time around. He didn't. What do you think, Viv? You think he'll bite on the change up? He might. Did I do it to him last time? Don't think so. Uh, he's got a he's got a large piece of that, but Zoltan has the entire chunk of it. With a catch out by the wall in centre field, uh, will be two outs. Here's Linda Van Spackle uh, with her reflective sunglasses, uh, reflecting what is a low-scoring game at the current time. That can change very soon, very readily. Can it change? Capscom can't get to it. Uh, that will be a base hit. Failure retrieves from right field. Now battle, Vertex Cabal. And uh, he's... Uh, well, he's is it, this is the fellow he said he hasn't got great batting stats, but he has got incredible speed. Incredible speed. Yes. Well, let's let's try and make sure that he never gets to use it. Beautiful pitch there from, uh, uh, from Viv there to kick things off. Very nice. Yeah. That's not bad either. Okay, what are we going to get him with? Don't know. Uh, just uh, just try one of these. And Steve will throw to second, but of course, that doesn't mean anything. No, getting them out at second, you have to anticipate that they're going to try and go to second. I'll try them on the change up. You never know your luck. That's high. Yeah, okay, full count now. Uh, uh, Viv is chucking pitches left, right, centre, and everywhere else. That one's gone foul. All right. Yeah, same again, but different. Okay. Nope, that one's gone foul as well. All right. Uh, same. It's uh, just, just, just slide one in. Just don't give up the walk. That's trouble. That is trouble. That's gone. Oh dear. 
And Grant's Auto Group have put a home run and extended their lead to three. Vertex Cabal there, the guy who can't... Why, you were dissing her. Yeah, I was. I was saying he's not much of a hitter. Yeah, and he put it over the fence. Yeah, every single time you're mean to them, they, they, get, a, they get a big run on you. That's true. Nancy Sue is not able to get to that one. Uh, her fielding is very reliable, but her speed is uh, is maybe not the best. Uh, that one's gone foul as well. Uh, I I think there's a there's a high chance that uh, that we tried the old uh, uh, the old change up on her last time around and possibly worked. In which case, she's unlikely to fall for it again. Anyway, Cindy will deal with that. And the damage is done, though. That home run hurt. First home run of the game in the fourth inning. I mean, that took took a while to get to there, but uh, it, it arrived nonetheless. Here's Steve Morrie. All right, Steve. What you going to do for us? I don't know. Okay, Steve. All right. Uh, Madam Pompadour starting to fade a little. Steve with a nice base hit. All right. Good work, Steve. Good work. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's relatively solid. Uh, Jemima Hurts up next. Got a base hit for herself last time around. But we've got to get some scoring on the go. Uh, if we can't pull our way back into this game, there will be there will be trouble. But that'll do it. And uh, and we're away. Go, 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 go. And there's a run batted in. Uh, a double there for Jemima Hurts and our first run of the afternoon. Magnificent. Uh, Nancy Sue 360 up next. Not much of a hitter, Nancy Sue. Maybe enough to uh, to cause the the enemy some trouble. She gets herself out, but we now have a runner on third, and it falls to Capsicum Disco to try and convert that into another run, which would be very welcome. Thank you, please. All right, come on, Capsicum. You know, you, it's going to be tough for you to get everyone out on this one, so uh, just uh, a single will do. But just don't uh, don't get the run to home out, and we get the run. Let's call that a sacrifice. Another run there for BDP. Bernadette mistakes last up. Uh, unless, of course, she's not. Which is uh, certainly possible. Bernadette mistakes has proved herself to be uh, very solid. As our... Uh, oh, nice hit. Uh, go, 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 go. She'll make it all the way to second. But, uh, she's proved herself to be a very reliable kind of uh, tail end batter. And then we've got Viv Crumble. Yeah. Bernie, I think your your efforts might be for naught unless Viv can can pull us off something dramatic. She tries for it, but it's going to get caught. Now number three, but Bulldozer Power tying the uh, the run scores in that inning to uh, to leave us with a three two lead to Grunt Auto Group. Close at the end of the fourth inning. Madam Pompadour, the pitcher. Stop to bat. All right, Viv, just throw balls, okay? I don't mean balls. I mean throw the ball. Uh, down the, you, you know, chuck it down the gusset. Okay. Uh, Zoltan's coming in for that. He's waving it. He's got it. Out the ball. Cookie Peaches Wallace. She's still locked in and uh, and fierce. Up for a up for a compelling performance today, but uh, she's 0 for two so far until now. Nope, that one's gone over the foul line. Unlucky. Uh, right. Nice pitch from Viv. But that will get her on base. It's trickled out to centre field. That's the Cindy Vapid base hit. It is. That was the Cindy Vapid base hit. Not made by Cindy Vapid. Here's uh, Freddie Singularity. Uh, who will be hoping to build on that. One out so far. Bernie can't get anywhere near that. Nancy Sue can't get anywhere near it. Uh, we'll chuck that to third. They shouldn't get a run off this. Try and catch it, Bernie. Good lad. Girl, lady, person, whatever. It all it all counts. It's, uh, it's Tommy Money. Uh, runners now second and third. Bulldozer power looking a little shaky once again. Sorry, don't look shaky. Don't look shaky. Don't. Don't shake it. No. And, uh, yeah. That's yes, okay. Oh, dear. All right, come on, Viv. Come on. The, the oh dear, incidentally, was because I know who our, uh, who our relieving pitch is going to be. Because uh, I was thinking, right, Viv's 60 deep into her arm. 
uh, for the day and therefore we're going to be starting to think about uh, making a change soon if she doesn't I'll pull it together come on come on get it together well it's an unlikely strikeout but we got it anyway so uh, that's that's two away Kojak Mistron up next who's had a pair of strikeouts so far oh what a shame don't say that she's an absolute legend she's a, a monster of a batter and uh, and she stuck that one out into the foul zone where it's caught by Cindy Vapid who came all the way over from second to retrieve it seems unlikely Capskin was there as well but apparently Cindy was desperate to catch out her former teammates all right okay here we go speaking of Cindy Vapid here she is now and uh, she's over two today oh send come on come on send let's have a breakthrough uh, a breakthrough at bat from you See if we can't uh, see if we can't turn that frown upside down. That's solid. That's better than solid. That's good. Yeah. Okay, and she'll uh, she'll stretch that into a double. Uh, Cindy Vapid opening up strong, strong opener from Cindy. Uh, failures up next. He's had a walk from his two at bat so far, and uh, and we're hoping he can just he can just drive in. You know. Just a just a base hit or two. That would that would really help out. Partly because I'm expecting Zoltan to have a big day. So far, though, that has not transpired. Uh, but we're not talking about Zoltan yet. It's not his time. No. Cindy's not. I'm not stealing third. That's proper dicey stuff. Trying to steal third. Uh, that one's gone for a ball. Okay. That one was a strike, but only barely. Oh, failure with the strikeout. It was a little high. I don't know if it was in the strike zone. Felt like it was in the strike zone. Uh, but he was late on the pitch that caught him napping. Uh, and here is Zoltan. We've got one out so far. Uh, Cindy's on second. Madame Pompadour, the pitcher, her arm is fading. So we're into that sweet zone of here's your opportunity then, lads. Zoltan straight up the middle. Uh, we won't gamble on the home there despite the fact it's Cindy and therefore she's fast enough to make it should have possibly gambled on that uh, but it's grinning Steve his mood is buoyant as he's had two for two so far today but we do have the opportunity for the Steve Morris special play despite the fact everybody seems to be at it these days I mean everybody's you know getting two teammates out on one flipping hit yeah and that one's not good. That is the Steve Morris special play. Right there. Oh. Bum. Yep. Could have tied it up, but didn't. Bordeaux's of power there. All out. And uh, the score is 3-2 to two at the end of five innings. Here's Danny Diet. He's got himself a single. He's got himself a run batted in. He's got himself a large jaw. Uh, and he's, uh, he's working it good with whatever mastication device he's got going on in his gob and he's got himself a base hit as well well he's got himself everything that he could possibly conceivably want then hasn't he? here's Linda Van Spackle second baseman uh, only batting 179 this season but could be could be a sleeper hit here because uh, anyone could the, the way I play the game anyone could do anything at any time yeah see how you like it booyah Double play. Very nice. And uh, that gives us Vertex Cabal, whose home run has, uh, has put this game amongst the pigeons so far. He anticipated that. Well, it was a ball anyway, so, uh, I mean, I don't care what you did. Yeah. All right. Come on, Viv. Hang on in there. I believe in you. Viv's still got some, still got some gas in the tank, as long as she doesn't dawdle too much over taking this guy apart. Yeah, he might be up for the change-up, you never know. I'm not sure she's got enough left on the change-up for it to work. But he's fouled it off, so that's that gambit scuppered. Yeah, no, he's he's you know, incapable of hitting it properly. Yeah. That one's gone to Cindy, who will retrieve and throw to first, and that's the uh, third out. Okie dokie. Jemima Hurts next up to bat. Uh, double, single, run batted in. Her confidence is right in the green zone that's a good thing all right well i mean uh, jemima has uh, has of late not been uh, not been disappointing and that's another low bouncer 
uh, to centre field, making her three for three today. Good times. Uh, Nancy Sue's up next. Desperately like to see Man Nancy Sue accomplish something. They're making a pitching change, which is a shame. Uh, Mario Hotstepper's coming in. Uh, his stamina's already flagging, so he won't be the last pitcher we see today. Uh, but he's quite good. Also leaving, Vertex Cabal is out. But he got home run. Well, I call it but I'm just reasons. And Phantom of Fanta is coming on to replace him. I don't understand the thinking there. I don't think he was injured. Uh, but uh, they've they've made that decision, and uh, we're just going to have to... Boom! Absolutely great shot there. That was tremendous. What a hit. What a hit. I can't even... That was Nancy Sue. She's brained the pitcher. Um, and, uh, and he's weakened, but they're keeping him in. Oh, lovely. Uh, Capsicum Disco next up to bat. She's going to get two people out. But we do have a runner on third now. No, you can't You can't claim that that's a silver lining to that cloud. Take it easy. Wait your moment. Uh, Mario is, uh, is, is going to be reeling from that one a smidge. So give him some time to make some mistakes. Uh, and, then, uh, and then see what you can do with it. Burning mistakes, speaking of that. Uh, attempting something there, but it was a bit, uh, bit premature. There wasn't much pace on that pitch. Okay, two and two is the count. That's a nice hit. And that's the tying run. Bernie's going to try and make it a second. And she's safe. Here's Viv Crumble. Okay, all right. Good times. Uh, yeah, well done. This is, uh, this is all good stuff. Nancy Sue 360 has made an incredibly valuable contribution as, uh, as Viv Crumble tries to bat in a run and she manages it and BDP have taken the lead. Oh yeah! And uh, they're taking Hot Stepper out. It's Judith Conspiracy coming on to replace him. I think that they they would have wanted to, wouldn't, wouldn't have wanted to do that because uh, this leads to another potential replacement for a, for a pinch hitter. Uh, we'll see. I don't know what their strategy is. The one thing that's for certain is we're not going to try stealing with Viv Crumble because she is molasses slow. Uh, yeah, incredibly slow. But she's a pitcher, so she, she doesn't need to do any of that. Uh, three balls, one strike. And Cindy gets a walk. Oh, this is... Oh, this is this is a momentum shift. Bulldozer power in the driving seat. His Ulysses failure, who we're hoping for, for a play. A play from failure here, and uh, and this game could be out of control. But it's, he's not getting a play, he's getting caught. Well, at the end of six, BDP up in the lead for the first time in this game. Four to three is the score. Guys, still close as anything. And uh, much like the last game that was a tension fest, here we are again. Uh, right. Margaret Ann Sprinkles 12. is up to bat. And uh, we're looking at Viv Crumble. How's she looking? I think she's got at least two batters in her. Okay, well, let's see how she gets on. If we can if we can dispatch these early, that's not bad. That's exactly the kind of thing that I was looking for. Nancy Sue with the catch. One pitch, one out. Here's Phantom of Fanta, who is a stealer, stealing specialist, but her mood's off. I couldn't tell you what they were thinking in putting her in. Not a good batter. Don't say that. She's a great batter, and everybody who ever sees her play goes, Hall of Fame, guaranteed. Absolutely. When she retires, goodness gracious, I've never seen a player quite as good. You think that's enough? Doubtful. All right. Well, keep pitching. And there it goes. It's going up to centre field. Oh, and, uh, and a stealer on... Uh, on first base, should we just let her have a double and then be done with it? Well, you could do this. Cookie Peaches Wallace, uh, Viv, how you feeling? Viv's mood's still in there, so uh, so we'll see. See if we can't turn this into something good. That's nice. Jemima Hurts with the catch, and that's out number two. Alfredo Singularity, he is having a good game. If he lights us up, yeah, and then that's 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 them back in the lead. We could make a sub now. No, 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 no. Stay the course. Stay the course because it's Disneyland as you're relieving pitcher. Uh, Tulip's still good to go. I'd rather save Tulip as a closer. Okay. 
Yeah, she, uh, she's got she, her stamina's not all that. Uh, I've done my research. You see, that's how important this game was. Figure out what my uh, what my reliever strategy is. Uh, right, there's the attempted steal. Surprised it took her that long. Two strikes, one ball. Viv Crumble, can she get through this? Capsicum can't quite get it there. They're going for home. Failure throws to home, and it's safe. A lackluster performance from Steve Morrie as catcher. He could have blocked that. He could have made it work. He could have stopped it. He could have. He could have saved the day. What's happening there? I couldn't honestly tell you. Uh, that was just a steal. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a, this is a new person now. Right, gotcha. All right, I'm with you. All right, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what? What's happening? There's two outs. Yeah. There's a runner on second. Yeah. And uh, two strikes. Okay. Make it work. Didn't make it work. Who is this? It's Tommy Money. Good kid. Uh, it's uh, Family Man. Yeah. Nice pitch. There it is. Viv will finish her campaign for the day with a strikeout, but we gave up a senseless run there. Uh, I mean, it was it was a perfectly legitimate run, but it was uh, it was a it was a blown piece of fielding. Uh, that led to the run, and uh, and therefore we need to we need to pick our way back in. Here is Zoltan. Zoltan, are you feeling it? Give us a yes, no. Blink in the uh, blink in the code that we have previously agreed. All right, strike one. Judith conspiracy pitching. Zoltan, Zoltan, waiting for his moment. That couldn't. No, that wasn't it. No, D D Zoltan, you made a mistake. That wasn't your moment. Well, it's Steve Morris, uh, two for three today, two singles, and then uh, a double play. Yeah, I, I see you, Steve. I see you. Yeah. And that one's gone high and foul, but it's gone high very slowly. No, that there, there was a potential for a fielding, uh, a fielding upset there, but it didn't happen. Uh, strike two. That's ball two. All right, Steve. That's the one. That's not the one. All right, Steve. Come on. That the one? That one was low, Steve. You're out. Steve Murray striking out there, and Jemima Hurts, who is by far and away the uh, the bright spark on the team today, uh, is uh, is next up to bat. And uh, can she break the deadlock? Well, she's the only one who can at the moment, because she's the one with the bat. All three. All right. All right, okay. Come on, Jemima. Come on. Gets the walk. Jemima Hurts there. Uh, just holding holding her moods and making it happen. Here's pitcher slayer Nancy Sue 360. Well, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not confident. Yeah, okay. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. And Jemima makes her move. And she's in. Hardly surprising. Uh, one strike, one ball so far. All right, here we go. No, 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 no. Nancy Sue 360 is struck out. And at the end of seven, it's four all. Kojak Mistron next up to bat. And we'll be making a change at pitcher. Uh, Viv has done her part for today. And, uh, and therefore, we're making the substitution. I, I'm going to regret this. Yeah, you know how off the team uh, that Mark Disneyland is. Oh, he's he's first against the wall, uh, unless unless he's the hero of the revolution now. So as mentioned, Tulip Banter is in a good place. Uh, she has she's got she's got lots of stamina, but not all the stamina. Surely you would put her in. Surely now is the time. Look, she can hit as well. Yeah, put her in. Yeah. Don't chance it on Disneyland. Uh, Tulip is our is our uh, is our guy for this one. Yeah. See, I was going to say is our gal, but it it sounded patronising, and then I said our guy, and I went, no, you've got the, there's there's gender confusion going on there. Oh, it's a minefield, friends. I just meant to say something positive, uh, but I couldn't quite find a wording that didn't feel demeaning or otherwise unsatisfactory. Third strike out of the afternoon for Kojak Mister On. Holy cow! Um, I've I've never known the likes. Yeah, that's that's dramatically awful. 
Yeah, terrible performance. Anyone would think that we'd paid her off. Uh, if, I, if I had the option, I might well have done. Maybe it's just some former team loyalty, although the way that this league is set up, she has no idea that this is her former team. No, uh, that that when uh, when players transfer teams, I recreate the player on the new team. Uh, there is no you are transferred to here. Uh, no, it's a it's a pure recreation. So uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, there's there's definitely no simulated mood going on there. Uh, who, who are we playing here? Danny flipping good to his mother diet. No, no, you're thinking of the other bloke. That's Tommy Money. You're thinking of. Uh, this is uh, Big Jaw Danny Diet. Oh yeah, of course it is. Who, uh, who is currently just incapable of hitting the ball cleanly. Yeah, he's just time wasting. Stop time wasting, Dan. And instead he gets a base hit. Well, that's no help. Okay, well, Zoltan had to retrieve that one and he was quite merrily looking at clouds. Seeing if he could see faces of the elder ones. Uh, apparently, they haven't spoken to him for a little while, and uh, and he's looking for some divine inspiration. Uh, we'll see whether whether that's manifested or not when he's next at bat. Holds horses for that one. Uh, come on, all right. Tulip's pitching is all perfectly on point here, but uh, she j I think she just lacks a killer blow of a pitch. You know. Just lacks a pitch that is going to completely fox everyone who faces it. You mean uh, she doesn't have a change-up? Well, no, not necessarily. Failure will get the catch there. No, oh, no, no, look. Consistent pitching is consistent pitching. If they if they struggle to get the hit, uh, then that's good. There's Judith Conspiracy, and she's gone. They had a feeling that was going to be the case. And it's Baron Torquemada is coming on in, his, in her place uh, for the pinch hit. They have a runner on first. They have two outs. Torquemada sticking out his backside in a way that is uh, reminiscent of a howler monkey. And, uh, well, we'll see if he's come to howl or if he's come to uh, screech. Anything could happen, but it could be either. Great pitch from Tulip. The pinpoint precision just to the very narrowest of inside angles there. Uh, let's chuck one outside just to keep him guessing. There's the attempted steal, which of course is successful. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost, it's, it's just a giveaway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe it's Steve's arm. Maybe Steve doesn't have enough of a rocket arm to catch people out. But uh, I don't recall a time I actually caught someone stealing to second. Stealing to others, I don't think I've got them either. But that's down to my own incompetence rather than anything else. I'm usually right on it, you know, with the throw to second. torquemada has gone. Carol Waspish is in. She's a little tired, but largely in the business. And she's in the business of baseball. And Bulldozer Power have an opportunity here. Capsicum Disco is now tense, which is a shame because <laughs> her numbers aren't all that, but her performance has been this season. Uh, all right, Capsicum, what you got for us? Just standing her ground. Doesn't like the looks of that one. Gives it a good hit. And she will make her way to first base. Good. Good. Strong opener. Is Bernie Mistakes. Two doubles today. A single and a run batted in. Bernie Mistakes having a game. Having a game. Yeah. Uh, that's what we like to see. Well, we're seeing it. Which is fortunate because we like to see it. That's strike one. Ball one. That one's in the dirt. Yeah. Car waspish, throw me while I can nail. That's not it. No, this is going to be interesting. Oh, indecision there from the second baseman led to both batters getting in. I wouldn't have believed it possible if I hadn't just seen it with my own face. Uh, but no confusion from the second baseman, not knowing which base to throw to. That's a beautiful piece of simulation. And that's not a bad hit there from Tulip, who will land us, bases loaded, no outs. Ooh, and Cindy Vapid. One of three. She's had a walk and a double from her at-bats today. And she's in a very good mood. Okay. Patience. Yeah. Don't swing at rubbish. Okay. Just... That's not rubbish. It's a Cindy Vapid base hit. And that'll get us a run. We're back in the lead, kids. 
Oh yeah, failure's up next. We can even afford a double play at this point. Failure has not done well from his uh, second slot. He's 0 for 3 and a walk. Uh, that's uh, weak. Yeah, wait your time. Wait your time. A single is all we really need. A single will be completely adequate. That's a good hit. It's another one. The motor's running. And a hushed tone fills the dugout as Zoltan Zoltan takes to the field he's got his bat he's been praying to the elder gods he's swinging at the first pitch it's not there it's not there it's not there on the first pitch the bases are loaded we've no outs Zoltan puts in something weak uh, they've only managed uh, managed the double play they got the runner to home and Zoltan well, that's bitterly disappointing it's Steve Morrie Come on, Steve. One more and I'll feel pretty confident that we might actually have a shot in this game. All right. Okay. Come on, Steve. Come on. Just a base hit, Steve. Just a base hit. Steve Murray has the base hit. I could have possibly got another run there. In fact, I could have definitely got another run. I had all the time in the world. Never mind. Here's Jemima Hertz. She's done everything for us so far today. We can ask no more. If she strikes out here, it's not the end of the world. Um... But uh, it would be nice if she didn't. And it's a low bouncing uh, centre field hit. And that's another run. Bulldozer Power opening the tap right when it was needed. Nancy Sue 360. Arguably the catalyst for the shift in momentum. Carol Waspish is done. They're bringing in Tony Prongs. Which I think is a mistake. Uh, because if he comes round in the batting order they're going to sub him. But... Uh, Carol Waspish was, ob obviously, has, had had enough of the day. Oh, we could have tattooed that one if I had, had a good batter here, but we don't. And instead, that will wrap it up. But Bulldozer Power have put on a show here in the eighth inning. Uh, and the score is now 8-4 to four in favour of BDP. We just need to hold firm. And, uh, and we've got the win that we so desperately need. Tulip, make it work. Right. Basically just means just pitch as we usually do and uh, hope for the best. Strike two. Uh, what should we do? Same again. Okay. That's two inside. Uh, they might have bitten on, bitten on it being slightly less inside. It's okay. It's all right. There's no, there's no rush here. We've got a four-run cushion and we're going to get a few of these. That's out number one. Caught by Zoltan. Is Phantom of Fanta, who they, they brought in. She managed to get a base hit from it. Uh, but uh, I, I still question the decision. But, uh, you know, the, the, uh, opposite, the opposing coach moves in a mysterious way. All right, something fast, high, inside-ish. That's nice. Chill it there with a strikeout by putting it pretty much where I wanted it. And uh, their last hope now is Cookie Peaches Wallace. They trail by four. They've got two outs. Tulip Banter just needs to hold her nerve. That's not a great pitch there. Uh, but uh, wasn't hit, so good. Uh, she's, uh, she's seen that one coming. Yeah, well, I've done it quite a bit. That's another foul. All right. Uh, do the same high inside tight kind of behavior. Well, she's uh, she's got a piece of it, but uh, it's going to be caught by Zoltan and that is the ball game. Bulldozer power. They needed a win. They got a win. The win they got. It's a bulldozer power victory. But it took very late in the day for our offense to turn it on in any way at all. And turn it on they did. Late. But it was turned on. Which is good. Let's move on. There's the scoreboard that we're familiar with. What a game. That was a great game. I love playing these guys. This is a, every, every time I've played them twice in a row. And they've both been absolutely top weasel when it comes to uh, comes to entertainment. Uh, good. Right. Uh, Tulip Banter gets the win. Justifiable, I think. Justifiable. Uh, six strikeouts for Viv Crumble. Three for Tulip. Solid. Solid. A game with only one home run. Which is unusual. We got two out of the three stars. Jemima Hurts, obviously, uh, star number one. Bernie Mistakes there as well. Both of them, four for four today. Magnificent. And then Alfredo Singularity, who was on form all game. We have 15 games to simulate. I'm actually going to do them one at a time. 
Uh, we are looking for... We've got the bombastic division. You will see... Hang on, I'll bring up the cursor. Here we go. It's right here, look. All right, it's there. Okay. We are still two games adrift at the current time. Yeah. Uh, that's that's not good. Do we care... Again, yes, we do care about Peninsula Transport versus the Minstrels. Okay, let's do it. Uh, Peninsula Transport, unlucky Jackson pitching for them, flinging Fuegas for the Minstrels. Uh, a win by Peninsula Transport puts us in the danger zone. I think it might kill us, actually. Okay. Come on, the minstrels. Minstrels, minstrels. Nope. Oh, right. Don't look too long at the scoreboard, though, because uh, we don't care about Pix Creek versus Sports Ball. That's, that's not something that affects us. I'm not looking at the, I'm not looking at the leaderboard. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to evaluate once we've been through all of this. Also, I don't care about Failurewood versus the Steganauts, although the Steganauts just put on an absolute monster to win that 12-5. Uh, sea Raiders against the Beekeepers. Uh, no, they're, they're not our people either. Uh, the Beekeepers with a late win. Uh, if they'd have turned on some wins earlier in the season, they might be somewhere. I can relate to that quite a lot. Colonel Space Agency against Grazer Ridge is uh, another one that I just... Well, actually, I sort of care, but I think we're, we're out of reach. It's going to be the top three teams in the Bombastic that go through... This one we care about. Okay, who do we want to lose? Um, both of them. You can't have both of them. We want we want budget to win this one. Budget aren't in our division this season. Oh, they were last year. Yeah, but not this year. Uh, come on, budget. Car budget. Useless. Okay, all right. Well, Lingo Blend getting a win. Yeah. Uh, Colonel Scorlerg Melon Flex. This is not something that affects us, so uh, whatever. Anyone can win that. Good. Uh, here's Grunt Cheerio. Need Grunt to lose. Oh, boy. Yeah. Cheerio are the best team in the league. I know. Grunt put up uh, an early lead, but Cheerio come back. Grunt Auto Group lose. Okay. Okay. We can breathe a little just for now until I look at the scoreboard and figure out that actually I, it's all beyond hope. Uh, Off City against Port Miggins. Not fast. That's fine. Port Megan's with the with the win. Look too little, too late. They're not going to see postseason. Uh, Minstrel Sea Raiders. Sea Raiders might still have a, a breath open to them, but again, this is not a this is not a contest that bothers us. Uh, sea Raiders get the win there. They needed that to keep their playoff dreams uh, intact. They're pretty solid at the moment, but uh, they're not they're not a hundred percent robust. Yeah, I don't even know how many teams go through to postseason. You know, you could look this up. Yeah, because I mean, it would you would hate to miss out uh, down to a technicality of like there only being four teams in the playoffs or something. Only the division leaders go through, you know, something like that. Uh, Peninsula Transport against the budget roadies. Come on, the roadies. Uh, Peninsula Transport started a terrible picture, and the roadies have capitalised on that. Uh, and the roadies get a win. That that's useful. That helps us. Um, does it? You know the roadies are in your division. Oh, they're behind us. Yeah. Well, that's the right way around. That's no, that's definitely what we wanted. Whatever. His Sunshine Fun Bus versus the Off City X Men, and the Off City X Men have won that one. Uh, and then Failurewood Hills against the Steganauts again, not one we're fussed about. And then we're up again. Uh, but we'll have to look at the leaderboard. Who are we? Uh, who are we facing in our next showdown? Our next showdown is the Bumson Medics. It's another divisional matchup, and we've got to win it. I think we're done. I think we're. I think we're out of it. I think we're. I think we're history. No, 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 not that. No, I mean that was interesting and all, but this is the bit I care about. Okay, top three teams go through. Yeah, you got one game left to play. Yeah, you are a plus twenty one run difference, which is better than Grunt and Peninsula. So if you beat Bumson, you will move to twenty six wins as well. Yes. Oh dear. Oh, it's all it's all to play for. We've got to beat we've got to beat Bumson. Yep. Uh and then Grunt and Peninsula have to lose. Yeah. One out of those three has to lose. No, two out of those three has to lose. Ah, right. No. Yes. No. Bumson are going through. They've got twenty six wins. Yes. And plus forty eight run difference. Unless I beat them by plus uh, 65 
right? Then, if, unless I score 65 runs to nothing, uh, then they're going through on run difference. Right. All right. Lingo Blend are in. Bumson are in. One out of Grunt, Peninsula, and Bulldozer Power will be making up that third spot. If we win and the other two lose, it's, it's going to be us. Well, that, if that isn't worth tuning in for, I genuinely don't know what is. The last game of the regular season coming up. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick, uh, go have a quick shifty at what actually makes the playoffs view the schedule. Uh, I don't think viewing the schedule is going to help in the regular season. I don't want to simulate to there, but thank you for offering. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't want to simulate to there. Show all. What's uh, oh show mine? Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's all helpful. I just can't remember what the rules in this league are. And I really want to know. I'm going to look them up. Hang on. It is as expected. Four teams from each conference go through to the playoffs. And therefore, it is as described. Yeah, okay. Well, I look forward to seeing you for that one. No pressure. No pressure at all. And uh, Des Eyeliner is going, to be, uh, is going to be opening the gambit for us there. Oh, dearie me. It's going to be a great game. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheerio.